Georgia, if you have not uh, recognized the accent uh, from, from Georgia, Hello, I have our runner house marathon. I always say that this is a 13.1 mile like my first. Uh, I'm also full principal investigator of a $9.8 billion sickle cell disease transition study. Um, that study is across 14 different schools in their highest potential, especially when we talk about women and African people at the top of the company didn't have skin and hair like mine. And so I knew that there was no way that no African American female had worked hard enough to get to the top of that company. There was something with that. We couldn't even live off $24,000. That's a huge issue. And so my yourself to make yourself digestible for us. The key of that, and I'm still on number one, is to dis determine your disruption. So learn. Your limits should be defined by your manufacturer and not by maker. We only live our lives as cats breathing through trees. Okay? So what do I mean by quit leaving bruised trees? So I was in a conference one day with uh, John Maxwell, and he talks about this idea of bruised trees. And so many times what we do is we start something. And when we start something, we take one hit at it and we move to the next thing. And we say, oh, that didn't work, so I'm moving to the next thing, support me. And here's one thing that I want to um, make, and it's a, a, to say, and it's a hard truth. Sometimes you move your lips and not your feet, but all they hear is lips and they don't see any feet moving. So move your feet, take action, implement things, put things in uh, place so that you can actually reach your goal. It's not your skill set, it's how your soul set, okay? So let me explain that. When I say soul, I don't mean some big religious concept. I mean your mind, your will, and your emotions, okay? So when you're trying to get something done, if you are only concentrated on your skill set and you don't develop the emotional intelligence to handle the pressure that is going to come upon you when you are prepared to be a leader, when you get into the light and you haven't been developed the light level that you're on now, then how can you do it on another level? And so you've got to build the strength where you are so that you're able to move to the next level. Never hold vision hostages. And I have made up this word, vision hostages. So here's a vision hostage. A vision hostage is when you're holding someone hostage to long-term vision when they were only put into your life for short-term That is torture for you and for him, for them, okay? So make sure that you do not hold vision hostages. If somebody is tied to your destiny and what you're supposed to be doing, they can't leave you. So always remember that. They cannot leave you if they're really, really supposed to be there. So if someone can walk away from you, let them function within the vision of who you are, but who you will be. You're not going to be ready for the next level of leadership. So never continue to function within the vision of who you are right now. You've got to start acting who you're going to be right now so that you can get to the place that you want to move to next. So a lot of us in leadership, and you're wanting to do bigger things, you got to change your habits because it's not that you're at the wrong place. It's that the habits haven't reached the level that you're on. So that's what's important, okay? So your habits have to align with your new level of confidence because you're not consistent. So if you think about any athlete, I always tell my son, you know, he wants to do, he wants to make a touchdown or something, or he wants to um, do, do some kind of like the gritty or something at the end and do all what I call showboating. And I tell him, it's not about showboating and doing all those like fancy moves. It's the fundamentals. It's doing that a million times over so that that shows the fundamentals. What is it like to do public speaking over and over and over again? What is it like to write? Dr. Edward tells me every morning, 4 to 6 a.m., he is up writing. That is consistency, and you can't say that.
you cannot just pop something out and write, right? Because your confidence in your ability to be able to do something when you're conformed. We do not rise to the level of our highest goals. We fall to the level of our most broken system. Set up around everything that you're doing, then you fall because you don't have the things in place that are really going to support your growth and really support you as a leader. And so here are the systems I think you should have a spiritual system in place, whatever that may be for you. Mental health, okay? Financial, what are you doing around your finances to make sure that you have all of those things in place and that you're not just feeling like you're broke all the time or you're living uh, paycheck to paycheck. I always say, um, you're not broke, you're pre-rich, okay? So don't say you're broke. How can you lead if you're not healthy and you're not able to have the strength to do your what you do for academia? And then your connection, there should be systems around that. Um, we learned very much in COVID that connection is so important for all of us. And it's definitely a, a thing that's important when you are talking about leadership. How are you developing connections? How are you making sure that you stay in networks with people who are able to help you to get to the next level? And so, um, so spiritual, mental health, financial, business, physical health, personal growth, and connection are those systems that you definitely need to have set up as a leader. And so...